let's do episode eight. Let's do episode. This is the last one I could do, but let's do it. Oh, okay. We go all yeah. in. I mean, you said you flash. wouldn't be able to do three, but all right. I guess you just lied. That's fine. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fuck you. Whatever. It's fine. It's okay. Uh, if I'm right about that Roddy prediction, I'm going to laugh so hard. Yeah, you'll be a prophet. Like I was when I apparently predicted that Joe, Joe Barry would be dead. Poor Joe Barry. Oh, we're back at O'Shaughnessy. Oh, look at that. So what a scene. Have a good one. Can you speak oh, English? Oh, I fucking forgot to take out the cover. Alright, we're fine now. The oh fuck? no, they're killing a minority. Don't do that. Oh no, not the jukebox. That's a good song. The beer is boiling. Jesus Christ, this is loud. What the fuck? What? This black smoke reminds me of the time whatever from Legends of Shimura, you know? Uh, black, black zoom, that kind of shit. And the, those ghosts kind of things. From season 3 of Flash. Mm. I forgot their name. The, the time rates? Time rates, yes. Hey, I was thinking that we could get an early dinner reservation tonight. Sure. No. Actually, um, you know what? Why don't we Did she just miss a month? Is that it? I don't know. Yeah, I gotta get used to it eventually. What? Wait, what did the calendar just say? I don't know. They gotta get divorced. I don't. I. Is it the first the day of the month? I don't know. I. No one. They didn't cross out any days, so the only yeah. conclusion is that it's day one. Sorry. That's on that page. Which had nothing on it. Yeah, I was trying to read the other days, and the only one I read was Movie in the Park. I don't think that's what got them upset, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, Chester. Oh no. Look at this evil firestorm. Oh yeah, that would actually make sense, because this is the bar where Caitlyn was the last episode with Marcus, right? Oh, no. Oh shit, yeah, I think you have a point, yeah, but I think this is it. <clears throat> it I just put the puzzle pieces together. I know. <laughs> oh, I am Jesus. You, Jeff. Jeff, did you read, like, leaks or something? Did you get spoiled? Or... <laughs> All I know... Was that Roddy was returning at some point? I expected to join Arm Armageddon. Yeah, I think we all expected him. That's him. That's the guy. Or not? Oh, oh mind. never mind. Well, well. No, this is gonna be a red herring. This is this show. Well, if you remember, <laughs> Firestorm is two people in one, right? So it could actually be that he's inside that guy. Okay. <laughs> or it could be the guy's just <laughs> framed. I think that guy's been framed. I'm not gonna lie. We'll see. I'm sure it'll make sense. It always does. Yes. Central go, City Bossy. Citizen Media. That's a mouthful. Boss lady. Why did her hair get every worse suggestion. since Armageddon? Rosie Levin, I don't think launching our first profile section on some shallow social media influencer is the way to go. I thought we were supposed to be the voice of the people. But Rosie Levin is I who the people are interested in. 500,000 of them, to be exact. That's not bring that those much. Eyeballs to CCC, then hopefully people will read the stories that matter. Is there something that you want to tell me? Taylor brought this to me earlier, and I told her it wasn't right for us. And she went behind my back. He yeah, fuck you, Taylor. And she followed protocol and made an appeal to the editor-in-chief, and I approved it. Is that a problem? Fuck you, Iris. If the bullpen knows they can come to you when I say no... My word means nothing. Yeah. Look, you're still their boss. Not that's really. A good, that's a good point. But I'm also yours. Actually, you know what? Why don't you both interview Rosie? My supervising editor, go supervise. Plus, opposing perspectives make for better stories. Um. And keep an open mind. I, I mean, don't think that's inherently true, true, but okay. This business is gonna fail. I mean, surprised it hasn't yet. She, the fact she promoted Allegra. Is like the first sign of it failing, but it gets why is Allegra a character in the show? She's great, she's gonna fuck Chester soon enough. Yeah, I trust your old man, Harold. Watching a lift concert's gonna blow your freaking mind, even more lame than usual. I know, right? 
This is too obvious for it to be him. Look, maybe I can tell you some stories about these crazy things these bands I'm working with get into. You aren't with the band. Like, I'm sorry, this this is like far too focused on him being the killer. Yeah, I mean, he seems like a good guy trying to reconnect with his son. I don't think they'd make him. Yeah. Jocko Birch, you're under arrest for the murder of Stanley Mullen. Hey. What the fuck was that Dutch angle? <laughs> Oh, so he is. Oh no, that acting though. Okay, <laughs> couldn't you have put the cuffs on him? Oh, you did. Then why? Oh, why did you throw him back? I don't understand fuck. the point. I guess because he would have still been on fire when he put yeah, the cuffs on possibly, him, and he would have been well, burned. So this would like put the fire out and stuck. Yeah. Yeah, he, oh, he's oh no, being smart. are you actually fucking kidding me? I'm telling you, it ain't him. He isn't him at all. <laughs> Told you. It is 100% Ronnie. Oh no. Why is this show oh, so predictable? <laughs> <laughs> I say and that now you if have you're to wrong, then I gotta have to edit that out. Oh no, you're gonna edit in in episode 7. The, like, the light shining on me with holy music. <laughs> it's happening, there's nothing you can do. He reminds me of my dad. <laughs> or he my reminded me dead. of my dad. But there isn't any hard evidence that he's guilty. Last night he supposedly killed a man and then instead of laying low he went back to work this morning. It's just, it, it doesn't add up. Yeah. Stranger things have happened. Wait, can Cecile read his mind and see if he's telling the truth? Because she, 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 she has done that in this season. Yeah, she actually exonerates yeah. someone on that basis. You know that but it's not convenient for the plot right now. <laughs> yeah, they just forget that she has powers, I guess. <laughs> Did you just see a look? She can read people's memories and intentions. And you do. He doesn't have to. He's come to you to check it. Oh my god, this is so stupid. There we are. Yes, of course, I'll meet with him. Give I like how when they do things that we suggest, it takes like 10 minutes to get to that. Yeah. Using my powers to read a client. It's an ethical line that I can't. What? Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. What? Why can't you? But then you're going... Like but... Fuck off. Why can't you? Cecile. What the fuck? Why wouldn't you do this? How is it an ethical line you can't... So, we're, we're faced with... Two, apparently a dilemma is, I read their mind, but know they're innocent or not. I don't read their mind, and either they get off free despite being a criminal, or, or the reverse. Mm -hmm. There is no downside. You lose, you lose nothing by reading his mind. Is she really gonna ask the janitor, like she said in episode 2? She's gonna talk to the janitor, I'm certain. Garcia. Oh my god, it's so good to see you. How are you? Why are you standing like 10 feet oh. apart? <laughs> Social distancing. Hi. I haven't seen you since Iron High. And again, your face is plastered all over that news website. These days, I'm writing the headlines, not starring in them. So you've been working here since you got out? No. Um, my first gig was cleaning out porta potties. This, this is kind of like a promotion for me. Not that you care. What's that supposed to mean? You're too busy to help out old friends. You got out, walked into a legit career. Meanwhile, I busted. This isn't bad. What do you What do you guys think of the sound design? How there's a cafe with people talking and you can't with people it walking, and yet there's there's no sound effects in the back. It's like they've entered the mirror dimension. Just the two of them. <laughs> yeah, I've just come to accept it. But um. Yeah, just a little nitpick, but yeah. um. Well, it's the kind of thing where like you have that scene in the social network where everyone's yelling when they're talking in a party. It's like, it's the little touches that make it more interesting. Yes. Yeah. Not yet. But uh, this isn't that bad, honestly, as a conflict of I'd the like fact that she you. got a job, but usually you wouldn't get a job that easy after getting out of prison. Let me share your story with the world. And she has the ability to help. I don't care about that, girl. Please leave the show. I mean, I don't either, but the, her conflict in this episode has definitely been the best part. No, it's a like, girl. <laughs> the best part has been him. This guy. He I mean, is. he has the most character out of anyone in this episode. But he should be Goldface. That's what I think. 
everyone should be played by Ghostface's actor. Every second of the four years I spent in that prison, it's like he was serving time too. Harold's a good kid. He's obviously not a bad actor, but I, okay. well, I, I keep seeing him as Zaz because of how he Stand looks, and that's taking me out of it. <laughs> You're spitting like when he like flames on you, it goes fire. Is there anybody that can confirm that? I got nothing. Wait, but if you returned home, surely you could check like street cameras and that. I'm innocent. You can read. Please read his emotions to see how retarded are you? Oh my Christ. And that is why you have to prove that he is innocent by reading his mind. I wish I had something better to tell you, Barry. Maybe if you read his mind. All of the evidence is still pointing to him as the killer. I know you didn't use your abilities in there, but what does your gut tell you? It's telling me that oh my God. he's innocent or not. He definitely believes that he is. Then if that's what you got from your gut, why not confirm that by reading his emotions? Yes, you lose nothing. If your gut's like, maybe he's innocent, then confirm it. What if he goes on death row? How did he escape? Well, that doesn't mean that he's not innocent, but okay. Um, I'm very confused. Man, he really looks like as. I only told them what I saw. I really didn't see anything. I'm gonna lose my son because of you. Because of what you said. Hey, man, relax. I, maybe I didn't see anything. They're emasculating our male characters. <laughs> you emasculated my son. <laughs> my son is gay now, thanks to you. <laughs> My son now has he, him in his bio! <laughs> <laughs> do, you want, do you want to make it a he day? Do you want another Ezra Miller? Because they don't want to be caught. From the the <laughs> things they didn't do. Yeah, I know that sometimes it's true. No, he didn't skip town, not without a son. Fire right. right outside O'Shaughnessy's. Yeah, I'll find out. Just run, Barry. Run there, Barry. I'll come with you for backup. What? No, oh, because she has. We're just gonna nice walk powers, there normally. Oh, thank fuck. Holy crap! He, I like how he changed her clothes as they um were running here. Yeah. That doesn't seem like sexual assault at all. He got a he got a nice peek at the frost frost tussy. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the witness who pinned it on Birch, the bartender? How would you know? It's charcoal. How the fuck do you know? I <laughs> see <laughs> this bone structure reminds me of that lady. It's fucking stupid. I thought I saw you two were back. How'd the interview go? Great. I feel like the story is exploding out of me. Seriously, you're gonna love what I'm doing here. I promise. Donna Winters, the bartender who died, the thermal lesions on her body match the marks on Stan Mullen's body exactly. Too exactly. I mean, there's no pyrokinetic meta who could replicate burns like that, even if they tried. What? I, I, I told you something that makes Birch's no sense. Just was, but the facts are still on Birch's side. Neither crime scene has any direct evidence tying him to it. No DNA. No fingerprints, no witnesses. But he was there when he killed her. I'm... Surely they understand that. Like, you know, there has been matters that have framed sure. others. Yeah. Reverse Flash has done this to Flash. A billion times. Okay, just read his emotions. Right Maybe you're not thinking clearly about this case. I mean, you're up just up. read his emotions. This solves the entire episode. Can't he search the entire city for him with super speed? Um, he did that one time in like season two. When he was looking for, in theory, for Zoom. He could, yeah. I know you've all thought Birch was guilty from the start. No, we haven't. That's not true. Each of us what? have been trying to help him from the beginning. But then you literally you said he was guilty. Yeah. What about other suspects? There are none. I, I get Birch is a known fire meta and an ex-con. That also makes him the perfect fall guy. Okay, now you think he's being framed. Thank you. saying it's possible. Well, yeah. What Birch did you think that he? What did you think that he was implying guy. before that? It feels like he's changed. There was just an accident. Obviously, everyone uh, he thought they were he was being framed, you moron. Because if anyone had when I was a kid, my dad wouldn't have gone to jail. Very honey, look where. Just use your power, Cecile. I believe Birch is innocent. So with 
or without your help, I'm gonna do everything within my and power. And you could too if you Please. fucking read his emotions. Oh my god. I love how they have this character who can solve the entire fucking plot of this episode, but they just decide, you know what, we're gonna say that no, ethically it's she unethical. won't do it. Yeah. No, shut up, it's unethical, apparently. Yeah. It's it's more unethical than, than possibly letting an innocent man uh, be convicted as guilty. Yeah, of course. Especially now that there's a manhunt man hunt after him because of the fact that he escaped. Yeah. They don't know what today is. I do. Oh, it's like the anniversary of Henry's birthday. Oh, so ah, his dad's that's birthday. Just, uh, that's why Iris was like, let's just chill. Whose anniversary? His, his dad's. Dad, his dad's birthday. His birthday. Oh, yeah. He was turning 45. The whole block showed up. Ooh, I'm baking cupcakes for weeks. And when the big night came, before he can even take off his coat, the pager went off. And you were disappointed, but you understood. He was helping save people's lives. So I guess he's more emotional than usual about this kind of thing because of the day that it is. Which I guess you could consider kind of contrived, but whatever. We have more birthdays. For both of them. Probably that word. That was the last one. The word happened. In jail, Joe. Oh, we actually did that. Okay. In my dad's eyes that night, it was the same look in Birch's eyes when they arrested him. I mean... An innocent man. I... Desperate not to lose his son. I don't think you can judge something by a look like that, but whatever. The twinkle in his eye. <laughs> the single tear rolling down his cheek told me everything. I can't let Birch and his son go through that if he's innocent. Especially after COVID. <laughs> I think maybe I've had blinders up this whole time. No. Thanks, Joe. Inspirational. Hi, this is probably the best scene in the episode. I mean, it makes sense to affect Barry like this and to see someone going through the same thing his dad did. Mm -hmm. It would have made more sense if Cecile wasn't a character in this show, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't have that power to end it. They could have just taken away her powers after What's Her Face was born. Because her powers are like a mix of her hormones and the gene being activated by them. I think the lead is in the second graph, not the first. It is a very engaging and beautifully written article. But Allegra, as strong as that article is, that's not what I assigned you. Yeah. I, there's some decent writing in Taylor's article, but it's all surface. Allegra, you could have made this story so much better if you would have helped her like I asked you to do. I'm so sorry. What I want is for you to learn how to be a supervisor. Instead, you did just the opposite. But I have an obligation to our readers. Jesus, how many butts are there going to be? <laughs> and look, I think it's going to start an important conversation. But next time, please run any changes this big by me first. I want you to talk to Taylor. Or me to a hole for me. I mean, that conflict actually made sense. I just, yeah, so it's like, oh yeah, the superhero right. show so talking out. about, so I like, how media works, um, and how writing like journalism works, but whatever. Nuclear fusion. What you're describing is... It's funny. <laughs> he does, um, fusion. He's innocent. We get this data to CCPD, we can clear his name. Then do. I need to get this to Captain Kramer fast. Where's Caitlin, by the way? Why is only Killer Frost here? Watch, they're this. they're gonna be strapping him to the electric chair as this date is being <laughs> put on the drive, and he's gonna be like, "Faster, <laughs> Chester! No, we don't have time." So, you ready for my theory? Here, Ronnie did Easy. nuclear fusion okay. when he was alive. Yeah. If it's an evil yeah. version, it's cold it's fusion cold makes fusion. sense. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, <sighs> I. <laughs> did he just put his earbuds backwards? I'm gonna have to rewind later. They do look backwards. Harold, get out of the car! Fuck is the soundtrack here? <laughs> this sounds like fucking Baby Driver. It should be like yeah. What are we? Melancholic. What the fuck's happening? Why won't you leave me alone? Because you just decided to attack a police car? <laughs> He's trying to get his son. Run there. Run there. Run there. Run there. Run there. Run there. Run. 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 Go stop that motherfucker. What the fuck was that transition? Okay. Why is the soundtrack here just like fucking Edgar Wright? Yeah. Like it's gonna lead into the high speed car chase. Yeah. Fuck is this rumbling? I never heard anyone. You get that you're a total loser, right? Okay. 
am. <laughs> <laughs> he is, has. He is. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Ronnie. The fuck is the soundtrack doing, dude? No matter what I do, you'll always think I'm a killer. That's true. <laughs> I won't let you, baby. <laughs> Handcuff him. Handcuff him. Power dampener. Power dampener. Power dampener. Yeah, I should put a power dampener so the police. No, you shouldn't put the gun down until he has a power dampener on. <laughs> power dampener. You're still gonna get arrested for this stuff. That's not me. That's someone else. I'm not doing anything. That's what you already did. What? No, you get them to say you have super you speed, okay, Barry. Are you stupid? Oh my god. Is that it? Is that? <laughs> That's lava. Oh, hurry! You get out of the way. <laughs> the person who has powers, they can stop that. Okay. Get them oh, to say to continue to stand there. Oh man. You just told them to run away, and they're just gonna stand there. What? Yeah, science, not my strong suit. Bro. Yeah, okay. He means emotionally. Ooh. Right, Chester. Would that make? Oh, that's retarded. Whatever he's feeling emotionally connects to the heat below the surface of the earth. So it means like, imagine like his mom dies and the planet just decides to implode. Oh my god, so dumb. How the Holy fuck do his shit. powers work like that? We've gone from Goldface to this. I can bring me back Goldface. Oh my god. Oh my god, fucking. Barry, Barry you have super speed. Why are you stopping? Yes! I agree, oh, no, man. Don't run, don't run five feet away and then Just kill stop. him. You gotta kill him. Where's the crack? Oh. Wait, no. They don't gotta kill him. Just put the power dampening cuffs. That's gonna oh, literally stop dampener. everything. Yeah. Just power put the cuffs dampener. on. There's gonna be a huge release of pressure <laughs> from everything that happens. I need you to absorb the remaining heat. Why are they still standing back oh, there? I'm... Run! <laughs> There's nowhere to run, Madvocate. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 you can actually, like, edit that in a YouTube poop. Wait, so Flash could go through the ground and then back up? He could defeat anyone and he likes. <laughs> <laughs> it's we went a really good song, but death. Jesus Christ. Oh, and they just cut- You just cut from the song! Okay, you don't even fade! Okay, that's dumb. I. Wait, has he had gold boots this whole time? Am I? For Did I forget he got them? Yes. Yeah. Saving hundreds of lives, try thousands. Saving that many lives is what I just did. I mean, you would have caused it, so you basically just. Yeah, he caught. He started it. This is like saying Wanda is a hero because she freed the the people enslaved well, in Westview. Well, I would say the same thing because though... he didn't do it. Because he didn't mean to do it. Um, oh, but I, but I mean, you doing. know, like on the surface, he. Oh yeah. They both started it and then they both put it out. Yeah. <laughs> Get flashback to this. We don't need the flashback. We. What? So you know how in the Batman, just uh, you have Robert Pattinson looking at the kid whose dad just died, and you're like, man, that says everything because of what we know. Uh, Bruce's character should be like. This show is just like, no, we're not gonna have Barry react to it. We're just gonna have the flashback that shows us what the fucking meaning of this is. Well, when you think about it, it's a flashback. Oh, fuck you, Ten, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I can't buy that he's getting his kid back given how explosive he is. Uh, unless, uh, I imagine they would have put him with a power dampening cuff. Or, or not a cuff, maybe a bracelet. So that he his power can never ruin anything again. Yeah, or like the necklace that Killer Frost had in season three. Yeah. So that he doesn't, they don't have to be around his wrists. To build off of the Batman thing, even for someone who doesn't know anything about Batman, like even what happened to his parents, they... They later bring up that that he was an orphan and that mm -hmm. that he was alone as a child when he talks with Alfred. And we never needed to see the scene of his parents getting killed, but yeah. in the Flash, we need two flashbacks to his dad first getting arrested and then being released. Yeah, and and they're not like like little subtle moments that might like maybe in like season three or four that are hard to remember. It's literally like his origin story, basically. Yeah. Like the, these are key moments of the Flash's history. It's not like a a sub character. Yeah, the scene of him getting arrested was in episode one. I don't remember when he was released. Yeah. But still, it's like, man. I guess the real question is. Wait, did she just read his emotions? Are you? Yes. 
But yes, that's is. unethical, Cecile. You can't read that's people's emotions. Worse. You're doing it to your friends. Uh, you're manipulating your more. friend. He's like, oh my god, where's the fucking privacy, you moron? No. Taylor, I know how this looks. I want to apologize. We are running your piece on Rosie Levin next week. What did I do to deserve getting stabbed in the back by my own supervisor? Yeah, she I has didn't. a point. Lydia's story was something our readers needed right now. And that's how I felt about my story. Iris did too until you called in a favor with the boss. Guess you'll learn that in prison. Oof. <laughs> that's a low blow, right. but... Um... What? Taylor, we are still publishing your article because Iris is a journalist with ethics. Fine. The music is making her out to be like a terrible Look, person, but she's like, right. I messed up, but I am still your supervisor. So I'm hoping we can get past this. I'm gonna destroy you. Okay, then. That's something you report to your boss. Uh, yeah. Allegra, you know, maybe just... Huh. When, are they, when are she and Chester gonna fuck? It's been two episodes now. Oh, her sex happened. is gonna get they leaked. Forgot. It's gonna get leaked she's... on Roblox. Yeah, Taylor's gonna leak the sex tape. Oh no. <laughs> it's a racial category. <laughs> nice to hear everybody remembering him this way. What do you remember the most? Yeah, little things. Him being in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, he was in jail for most of his life, so yeah. Uh, he never made me clean my plate at dinner, even when all I'd eat Because he was in jail. Like, <laughs> he said he'd bring me milk, but he didn't because he was in jail. <laughs> Imagine he's recounting everything, every, every sentence said that he got it because he was in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cecile. Thank you, Cecile. That you was necessary. Happy birthday, Dad. Thank you. Now you're in heaven, jail, Dad. Heaven, <laughs> jail. <laughs> That's just called hell. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Is this the end of the episode? <laughs> if he's out of oh, the show, a that's heaven. Teaser. It was Ronnie. It was Ronnie. It was yeah, Ronnie. It's Ronnie from another Earth. No, it's reverse flash. It just shows up like it was me, Barry. Shift your focus to but Stan and Donna were different ages, races, and genders. And yeah, those are the three things that connect people. There's nothing. Oh my Christ! This is so dumb, Jester. Are you retarded? Yes, that that's how you do fucking victim examination. What are the race, gender, and fucking? Oh fuck off, you moron. <laughs> victims there's a meta serial killer out there we need to find them. they got the spell caitlin ah we don't know yet so i we can't claim that jeb is right so uh -huh. oh man what a mystery it's gonna be running i you know what i will put everything i'll ever earn in my life <laughs> on this claim because <laughs> this is the flash that is ronnie i yeah I, i'm sorry but yeah it is the it is ronnie they're keeping the reveal for the next episode i guess this is how you can write a twist i'm just Tin, why did you tweet Flash Season 8 Episode 5? I have one word for it, is what? We watched Episode 5 Wait. like five, five months shit. ago. Shit, shit, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh no. You're a moron. Goldface got to him. Yeah. We went on this earlier. Yeah. Shut up, chicken well, man. I mean, to be Shut fair, up. I also Shut forgot up. we watched 5 already. Yeah, but that's you funny. asked We've me. We've talked about this. Yeah, that's the point. We, we had a conversation about it where you asked, is it 5? And I was like, no, it's 6. And Tin is still like, ah, oh, I'm gonna tweet I, about episode five. I guess Tin zoned out for that part. Yeah, she she's a genius. But anyway, <laughs> Flash episode season eight, episode eight, that was bad. It was really bad because the the entire episode could have just not happened because of Cecile. I guess the Allegra I... subplot is the best thing about this episode, which is not something I expect that you ever say. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a 10 out of 10 episode because they're teasing Ronnie. It's going to be fun, Jeb. Next week we're going to watch and we're going to figure out it's not Ronnie and then I'm going to uh, win all your earnings uh, from your entire life. And I'm going to be rich. And I'm going to buy nah. the flesh. I'm going to make an episode with Ronnie just to spite you. Did I share with you all that, that I got a, a comment on one of the Flash videos of a person saying that I was wrong? about everything because they they've liked the flash so far this is including like modern flash they've liked the flash so far and the only criticism slash problem they have with the show 
is how common uh or how how they normalize interracial relationships that they find it creepy that that's a normal thing oh my god in this show that's amazing that's the best that's, comment that's I've the ever. only that's the only problem they that's have the with only the problem show. with the flash <laughs> that really was that really was us <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna have to check the username again. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out it's uh Hugh's Hubert's Hubert baby face. I mean, I was not expecting that turn for the comment. I was like, oh, he's gonna say the the only issue is how common it is that you know they reuse characters or some shit. Um, interracial couples was not it was not the way I expected that to go. <laughs> Man, but yeah, thanks everyone for watching us watch the Flash season eight episode. Eight. It has been fun. This episode was at least funnier than episode six. Episode six was just pure pain. And episode five wasn't not episode five. Episode seven wasn't terrible. So yeah, that's life, I guess. We will catch you all next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Uh, bye. bye.